Hey guys, it's Dan, and it's book mail time. Um, so as I mentioned before, I created a newer Twitter that I've had for like the past few months, and I've been adding a number of different authors. And Sonora Taylor is a, ho a female horror author that I added not too long ago. I, I don't know how long she's I've been following her and she's been following me, but for quite a while now, and I saw some reviews of her books, and I saw that she promoted um, a tweet about one of her latest books called Little Paranoias. I think I, I'm going to have to look in the, the package because she did send me a copy of this book. And she had, she tweeted some prose that I'm guessing is from the book. And I read it and I was like, wow, that is, is gripping and beautiful. So I went to message her and inquired about receiving some review copies of her books. And she was very cool and generous in sending them to me. So I have, um, I wanted to open this on camera, but my 11-year-old son... He had intercepted the package, he saw it sitting there, and then opened it up. So, yeah, I, uh, I wanted to open it on camera, you know, to get, like, you know, the reveal. But, you know, like I said, he had intercepted it. And like I said, um, Little Paranoias, this is a, a short story collection. I'm going to read you the back so you kind of have an idea of what it's about. Um, and while I'm talking about this, I want to throw up that um, she recently had a birthday not too long ago. And for her birthday wish, she was wanting to sell so many copies of this. So after I share with you guys what this book is about, I'm going to have a link down below. And if this sounds like something that you're interested in, go order a copy. Help fulfill her wish. It would be really cool if you guys could do that. Um, it says... Is it a knock on the door or a gust of wind, a trick of the light, or someone who will see what you've done? Little Paranoia's stories features 20 tales of the little things that drive our deepest fears. It tells the stories of terror and sorrow, lust at the end of the world, and death as an unwanted second chance. That sounds intriguing. It dives into the darkest corners of the minds of men, women, and children. It wanders into the forest and touches every corner of the capital. Everyone has something to fear, but after all, it's those little paranoias that drive our day to day. That sounds wicked good, to be honest with you guys. And this is a short one, so it's not, it's not too long. This, of course, is going to be one that I'm going to read really, really soon, and then I'm going to do a review of it. Um, she also sent another book with this, and I'm thinking this one is an older one, one of her older ones. And this one is called Without Condition. This one is, uh, the blurb says, Kara Vineyard lives a quiet life in rural North Carolina. She works for an emerging brewery, drives her truck late at night, and lives with her mother on a former pumpkin farm. Her mother is proud of her and keeps a wall displaying all of Kara's accomplishments. Kara isn't so much proud as she is bored. She's revitalized when she meets Jackson Price, a pharmacist in Raleigh. Every day they spend together, she falls for him a little more, which in turn makes her life more complicated. When Kara goes on her late night drives, she often picks up men. Those men tend to die. And when Kara comes back to the farm, she brings a memento for her mother to add to her wall of accomplishments. Kara's mother loves her no matter what, but she doesn't know if Jackson will feel the same and she doesn't want to find out. This sounds interesting too. It sounds like Kara is a female serial killer. Yeah, oh my god. I did not anticipate that what this one was about because what, this is the first time I'm reading the blurb about this book. <laughs> yeah, definitely. And if the, like I said, I'm going to have the links to these down below. I'm going to have the link to her website. If you guys want to go check that out, go ahead and order these. Yeah, definitely. That does sound good. And there's one last thing in this package I wanted to share. She included a thank you card, which I really, really appreciate that she 
she included a thank you card. That's really cool. Um, this shows that she is a, you know, a very nice person. And she's like, thanks for reading and considering my books for review. I, I appreciate this, Sonora. If you see this video, I highly appreciate this. And I... I'm gonna I think I'm gonna have a good time reading these books because they sound super good. That's all I got for you guys. Of course, as always, I will have Amazon links down below for these books. Um, I'm not gonna post a book depository link because I don't know if these will be on book depository or not. I mean I can do some research and find out, but I will have Amazon links, of course, down below. That's all I got for you guys. If you want to see uh, more horror book reviews, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Why either hit that notification bell. Please check out her website. Go order these books if they sound good to you. That's all I got for you guys. Book mail is the best.